According to Google Dictionary, intuition is the ability to understand something immediately, without the need for conscious reasoning. In other words, it's the gut feeling people are accustomed to experiencing that influences their actions that doesn't require logic. Ever since the Age of Enlightenment, people are prone to dismiss ideas without some sort of scientific research to support them. Although science has opened the world to a plethora of possibilities, conveniences, and truths, ultimately, it still serves as only one type of perspective within the big picture. Intuition has been given a bad rep for being too otherworldly, due to its psychic inclination. However, the mysterious power of intuition is still undeniably beneficial that the US Navy began a program in 2012 to investigate how members of the military can be trained to use their sixth sense to help them during combat and other missions. The goal of the program is to determine whether or not there are techniques that can improve people's intuition. Don Tucker, psychology professor at the University of Oregon, said the research could improve training not only in the military, but also in sports and many job settings. Tucker also adds, Spider-Man had powers, but maybe the rest of us can learn to use the experience of the intuitive cognition we have. We want to remind you not to underestimate the great capacities of intuition. Here's seven things highly intuitive people do differently. Number one, you listen to your inner voice. Gut feelings are experienced by many, but what sets highly intuitive people apart from others is that they actually listen to them. Sophie Burnham, author of The Art of Intuition, writes, Everybody is connected to their intuition, but some people don't pay attention to it as intuition. I have yet to meet a successful businessman that didn't say, I don't know why I did that, it was just a hunch. Due to cultural bias, intuition is commonly regarded as pseudoscience and hocus pocus, which can cause the majority of us to ignore our own instincts that may have come in handy. You don't have to abandon logic altogether to rely on intuition, but it can be incredibly beneficial to learn how to achieve a balance between using both. Number two, you practice mindfulness. Highly intuitive people have a great knack for being self-aware. This is nurtured from their habit of practicing mindfulness on a daily basis. When you meditate, you're able to alleviate yourself from mental fog that leaves you clear-minded and focused on your inner voice. The purpose of mindfulness is to declutter your mind from worry and any loud, distracting thoughts that make it hard for you to tap into your inner self. This boosts your knowledge of how to operate and, as a result, you can recognize and use your intuition without having to attach the whys behind your actions. Number three, you have a creative outlet that you often use. Musicians, writers, artists, entrepreneurs, and dancers are able to sustain their creativity because they follow their intuition. Instead of being swept by fear and wondering how they will achieve their dreams, they never stop believing in themselves, nor do they question whether or not it makes sense to go after them. It's only natural for them to follow their heart. It may sound incredibly naive and overly simple to some people, but perhaps it's because it's been a long time since they listened to their own intuition. Intuitive people follow their creative endeavors, regardless of the judgments they receive, because to them, it feels more foolish to hold themselves back. Where there is intuition, there is also the will to create. Number four, you enjoy solitude. Highly intuitive people don't mind finding a quiet corner away from the busy world. In fact, they enjoy their solitude because it gives them an opportunity to listen to their intuition. It's hard to locate it when you're stifled by traffic, stress, and everyday responsibilities that make it hard for your intuition to roam free and simply be. This is why highly intuitive people also have a tendency to daydream. It releases everyday tensions and clears your mind so that you can connect with yourself on a more authentic level. Number five, you are observant of your immediate environment and those around you. As a result, you are able to connect deeply with others. When you pay attention to the small details in your environment and of the people in your life, you can learn to understand how and why things work. This is how your empathy grows when you see how other people are affected by different situations, and you can learn to take on more than one perspective when considering why people are prone to acting a certain way. It's helpful to you because, in turn, you understand how to tune into your own emotions. As a result, you can form deep connections with others. Some people may get the impression that you can read their mind, but in truth, you have allowed your empathy to help you use your intuition that lets you know exactly what they need. Number six, you pay attention to your dreams and subtle messages from the universe. Your dreams and intuition come from the same place, which is your unconscious mind. When you're highly intuitive, you may often pay attention to common themes of your dreams that can be telling you something. In addition, you also notice subtle messages the universe may be giving you, from songs that play every time you turn on the radio, quotes that you come across in books, or the notes you receive in fortune cookies. They can all be incredibly nuanced the more you can make sense of these situations. 
Number seven, you don't overwork yourself, nor do you attach yourself to negative emotions or situations. When you experience strong negative emotions, they can cloud your intuition. In fact, according to Burnham, when you find yourself feeling depressed or highly angry, this may cause your intuition to fail you. This is why highly intuitive individuals don't overwork themselves, because they understand that they need to feel at peace in order to nurture that special trait. As a result, people with good intuition form healthy habits when they learn how to find balance both in their lives and within themselves. Are you a highly intuitive person? What do you do differently than others? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go. Thanks for watching.